let's get right into it. Number 9. The Ultraviolet Catastrophe Imagine heating up a piece of metal until it glows red hot. According to the physics books of the 1800s, that piece of metal should have instantly vaporized everyone in the room. The math said that any hot object should emit infinite energy, especially in the ultraviolet range. Scientists called this the ultraviolet catastrophe because their equations were basically saying that your toaster should be as powerful as a thousand nuclear bombs. But obviously, none of that happens. This drove physicists absolutely crazy because their math was perfect, except for that whole predicting the end of existence thing. Then Max Planck came up with this wild idea. What if energy isn't smooth and continuous, but comes in tiny chunks, like pixels in a video game? He called these chunks quanta, and just like that, the infinite energy problem disappeared. Turns out hot objects don't release infinite energy, because they can only release these specific sized chunks. It's like trying to pay for something with only $5 bills. You can't give someone $3.50 even if you want to. This weird paradox ended up birthing quantum mechanics, which is how we now understand how the universe works. Number 8. The Dark Night Sky Paradox So you know how when you look up at the night sky it's pretty dark out there? Well, that darkness shouldn't exist. If the universe goes on forever, and it's filled with stars, then every single line of sight from Earth should eventually hit a star. Think of it like standing in the middle of an endless forest. No matter which direction you look, you should see a tree trunk. So why isn't the night sky just one big wall of blinding light? This puzzle messed with scientists' heads for centuries. Even Edgar Allan Poe took a break from writing about ravens and murder to think about this one. And surprisingly, the guy who wrote about burying people alive actually got pretty close to the answer. He said maybe the universe isn't old enough for all that light to reach us yet. Turns out, Poe was onto something. The universe is only 13.8 billion years old. That means light from really far away stars hasn't had time to get here yet. Plus, the universe is expanding faster than you can imagine. This means the light from really far away stars gets stretched out, like cosmic silly putty. By the time it reaches us, it's so stretched that our eyes can't even see it anymore. The darkness between the stars isn't just empty space. It's a graveyard of dead stars and a message from the ones whose light will never reach us. Number 7. The Horizon Problem Imagine looking up at the night sky and noticing something really weird. The temperature of space is basically the same everywhere you look. Sounds normal, right? Well, it shouldn't be. It's like finding out that two identical twins who were separated at birth and have never met are somehow wearing the exact same outfit. Scientists found that regions of space billions of light years apart have the same exact temperature, but these regions are so far apart that light from one region could never reach the other. So how did they end up with the same temperature? This drove physicists absolutely crazy. So they came up with a wild idea called cosmic inflation. They said that right after the Big Bang, the universe went through a growth spurt that would make your teenage years look calm. In less than a billionth of a billionth of a second, the universe expanded faster than you can imagine. It's like taking a tiny drop of water and stretching it into an ocean in less time than it takes to blink. This means that all these far apart regions of space were actually super close together at the beginning, close enough to share the same temperature. Then inflation hit, and they got stretched apart faster than light itself, but they kept their matching temperatures, like those twins separated at birth. Number 6. Bentley's Paradox Picture this. You're playing with a bunch of magnets. If you let them go, they'll all snap together into one big clump. Now imagine the entire universe is full of magnets, but instead of magnetic force, it's gravity. That's exactly what Richard Bentley was thinking about when he wrote to Isaac Newton back in 1692. He basically asked, Hey Isaac, if gravity only pulls things together, why hasn't the whole universe collapsed into one giant cosmic meatball? This question hit Newton like a falling apple to the head. At first he tried to argue that in an infinite universe, all the poles would balance out perfectly, but even Newton knew this was sketchy. The stars would need to be arranged with impossible precision. One tiny shift and cosmic collapse. It's like trying to balance a thousand pencils on their tips all at once. Yep, the guy who figured out gravity had to call in divine intervention to explain why the universe wasn't imploding. Modern physics finally solved this brain twister. Turns out the universe is expanding, which counteracts all that pulling. It's like the stars are on a giant cosmic treadmill. Gravity pulls them together, but the expanding universe keeps pushing them apart. Number 5. Maxwell's Demon what if there was a tiny creature that could break one of the most fundamental laws of physics just by opening and closing a door? 
This is Maxwell's demon, a thought experiment that had physicists pulling their hair out for over 100 years. Picture a box divided into two chambers with a tiny door between them. The box is filled with gas molecules bouncing around. Some molecules are moving fast, which means they're hot, and some are moving slow, which means they're cold. Now our demon stands at the door and plays bouncer at the molecular nightclub. When he sees a fast molecule coming from the left chamber, he opens the door and lets it into the right chamber. When he sees a slow molecule coming from the right chamber, he lets that one go left. Over time, all the hot molecules end up in one chamber and all the cold ones end up in the other. This is where physics starts having a mental breakdown. According to the laws of thermodynamics, things are supposed to get more mixed up over time, not more organized. It's like trying to unmix chocolate milk back into regular milk and a chocolate bar. It just doesn't happen. But this demon was doing exactly that, without apparently using any energy. For decades, physicists were losing sleep over this paradox. Then someone realized something crucial. The demon needs to remember which molecules it sorted. When the demon's memory gets full, it needs to erase old information to make room for new observations, and erasing information generates heat. All that work the demon did to separate hot and cold molecules gets undone by the heat created from clearing its memory. The universe always gets its cut, one way or another. Number 4. The Arrow of Time Paradox Imagine dropping your phone. The screen shatters into a million pieces. Now imagine watching that in reverse. The broken pieces float up and magically reassemble into a perfect screen. That would be weird. But according to physics, both scenarios are equally possible. The basic laws of physics don't care which way time flows. They work just as well forwards or backwards. But in real life, we only see things happen in one direction. Broken phones don't fix themselves. We remember what happened yesterday, but have no clue about tomorrow. It all comes down to something called entropy. Think of entropy like nature's tendency to make things messier over time. It's why your room gets messy on its own, but never magically cleans itself up. The universe started out super neat and organized, like a perfectly arranged deck of cards. But ever since then, it's been getting more and more chaotic. Even making memories in your brain increases entropy. When you form a memory, your neurons physically change their structure. Every time you remember something, you're actually making things a tiny bit more chaotic on a molecular level. So your brain can only form memories of times when things were more organized than they are now. Number 3. The Missing Solar Neutrinos Paradox Imagine counting money falling from the sky, but two-thirds of it just vanishes into thin air. That's exactly what happened when scientists tried to count tiny particles called neutrinos coming from our sun. According to their calculations, trillions of these ghostly particles should be hitting Earth every second, but when they actually counted them, most were missing. This wasn't just some small counting error. We're talking about billions upon billions of missing particles. Scientists were freaking out because this meant either their understanding of how the sun works was completely wrong or something really weird was happening. Turns out, these neutrinos were pulling the ultimate identity theft scam. They were literally changing who they were mid-flight from the sun to earth. Imagine if your friend Bob left his house to visit you, but by the time he reached your door, he'd transformed into Steve, then into Mike. That's basically what these neutrinos were doing. The detectors were only looking for Bob-type neutrinos while Steve and Mike were just waltzing right past unnoticed. This discovery was huge. It meant neutrinos had to have mass, which nobody expected. It's like finding out that ghosts actually weigh something. It changes everything we thought we knew. Number 2. Newton's Bucket So you're holding a bucket of water and start spinning it around. As you spin faster, something weird happens. The water starts climbing up the sides of the bucket, making a bowl shape. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Newton asked a simple question that no one could answer. What exactly is the water spinning relative to? It can't be spinning relative to the bucket, because once the bucket and water are spinning at the same speed, they're not moving relative to each other anymore. But the water is still curved up the sides. It's like the water somehow knows it's spinning. This drove Newton crazy. He thought this meant there must be some kind of invisible, absolute space that everything moves relative to. It's like there's a giant cosmic grid that fills the entire universe. But then another scientist named Mach came along and said what if the water is actually responding to all the stars and galaxies in the universe? This tiny bucket experiment led to a massive debate that wouldn't be resolved until Einstein came along with his theory of relativity. And we still don't have a perfect answer to what that water is really feeling when it climbs up those bucket walls. Number 1. 
Schrodinger's cat. Imagine you've got a box on your table with a cat inside, but this isn't your average cardboard box with a curious kitty. Inside this box, there's also a tiny bit of radioactive material and a vial of poison. If the radioactive material decays, it triggers a mechanism that releases the poison, and well, goodbye kitty. But according to quantum physics, until you open that box, something really weird is happening. The cat isn't just alive or dead. It's both at the same time. It's like that moment when you send a risky text and haven't checked the response yet. You're both single and in a relationship until you look at your phone. Scientists call this superposition, which is just a fancy way of saying everything is happening at once until someone looks. Schrodinger came up with this whole thing to show how ridiculous quantum mechanics sounds when you apply it to everyday stuff. He was basically saying, look how dumb this is. A cat can't be alive and dead at the same time. But quantum mechanics turned out to be right about a lot of things. So now we're stuck with this cat that's both alive and dead until someone checks on it. But what counts as looking? Does the cat count as an observer of itself? What about a fly that might be in the box? Does the box need to be opened by a conscious human? Nobody knows for sure. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.